Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and a very happy new year to you all because this is my first video in the new year because I had to skip one and thank you very much for all the well wishes uh, for me uh, it helped a lot, I was very uh, annoyed that I had to skip one upload because I hadn't done that before but I really couldn't get, finish my video so sorry for that but I'm back and uh, you saw already what the next video would be it is this beautiful jumper I saw uh, on Josie from Fashion Mumbler, she has really the same style as I have and I like this jumper very much because it's very simple, very plain but just with one big detail and that is the big ruffle around the shoulders and I think it looks really nice and I already had a really uh, nice fabric for that that's very thin and very shiny and very festive but uh, on the other hand I can wear it for every day because it's just a jumper and uh, I make the ruffle a little bit smaller I think than it's really an everyday jumper to me because you know I like the more dressy clothing and um, but well in a rather plain style so this is the jumper we're gonna make so and this is the drawing it's pretty simple of course um, it's a little bit uh, cinched in at waist um, rather small uh, sleeves I don't think I will put um, I don't know how it's called in English it's this kind of fabric we call it board fabric it's knit in, in uh, lines and it, because it's rather stiff you use that at the bottom of your uh, top or on the sleeves as cuffs and so it's, it's rather tough and form fitting um, but I think I won't do this because I'll show you next my fabric is rather thin and I don't think it looks nice when it has that stuff of a fabric on the end so I just hem the uh, sleeves and the top uh, with normal hem uh, folded in and to show how it fits on the shoulders um, I uh, uh, made this drawing without the uh, ruffles on top that it's just uh, ends where your shoulder goes down so it's not off the shoulder but it's just uh, sitting on the shoulder and uh, you understand why I make the pattern how I made it when I, I show you next because I don't want it to going really down your shoulder because then you're constantly uh, pulling it up and that's really uh, awkward so this is the painting or the drawing and this is my fabric it's a really nice, very thin knit. It's almost a bit shiny. And I'll put it a bit up, then you can see it's very, very thin. So I'm not sure if I have to line it to make it really nice because you can see now my hand through it. So maybe it's really too thin when I use just one layer. So maybe I'll line it with the same material or with a lining fabric. I'm not sure, I'll see when I um, do the try on how it looks and then I can put a lining in if I want but this is a really very thin very flowy um, fabric I don't know exactly what it is I think it is mostly polyester but it feels very nice and it has that little shine and maybe if I move it a bit in the light yeah you can see that it has a little bit of shine on top of it and what I use um, instead of the board fabric as, uh, as I, I show you is I um, take this ribbon, it's a non-stretch ribbon and I put it on top of the um, fabric where it sits on the shoulder and I show you in the pattern making uh, how I do that and why I do that so this is a non-stretch non ribbon, just a plain simple woven uh, ribbon you put on top so that's the fabric Uh, and for the pattern, uh, it actually is just a basic uh, top pattern. I just cut off some off from the uh, top, as you see here. Normally it would be to the neck, and now we just cut off the top from the front and the back and from the sleeve. So that's exactly the same. So you make your basic pattern with your quarter chest, your quarter waist, and your quarter hip. I just added for the waist about uh, two, two to three centimeters because I don't want to get it hot in too much because I want it rather loose there so you make your basic pattern and the only thing you do is you take off from the top uh, for the front I took off um, 9 centimeters and from the back 7 because the back can be a little bit higher and when you do that from a basic pattern then you leave here 15 centimeters on top uh, on the front and on the back we get 18 centimeters on top 
So it's just the basic pattern. This is your mid front, this is your mid back. And um, for the armhole, for the front, I took just a straight line. And for the back, I give it a little bit of a curve because then you get some a uh, bit more movement uh, for your arm when this is a bit rounded out uh, for the sleeve. And for the sleeve, uh, this is the front that is connecting to the front part that is just a straight line and exactly the same width uh, length as the uh, front pattern has. And for the back it has the same curve with the same length as the uh, part on the uh, back pattern. And on top we leave uh, 12 centimeters so that together the front, the sleeve and the back uh, in total around is then the 90 centimeters that I wanted to have. Um, because then what we get, I have to get my ribbon, where is my ribbon? Then we get the uh, measurement around so that it stays on top of the shoulder, not going down the shoulder or off the shoulder. I wanted to lay on top of the shoulder. For me it is 90 centimeters when I measure that around. So my web ribbon is going to be attached on top of the uh, patterns together will be the 19 cent 90 centimeters that I want. So this goes on top of all the patterns all the way around. So that is your pattern. The length of course you take as long as you want your top to be, as long as you want your sleeves to be. Uh, I took 85 for the pattern and uh, 55 for the sleeves, but you can take whatever you like of course. So I've cut out my pieces. I have my front part, my back part and my sleeves. So now we're going to sew them together. We're going to take one sleeve and I marked them where the front part is, so where the pin is, that's the front. And this is the front uh, pattern, so we're gonna lay the arm seam, as we can call that, just that straight line. We take that together, right sides together, of course. And we're gonna pin that down. And then immediately the other side of the sleeve, that seam, uh, should be uh, connected to the back, so we're gonna take that together and the easiest is to fold it open and then put the two backs together and we're gonna do exactly the same for the other sleeve then we have the sleeves connected to the back and the front like this and then we can, what we can do is we're gonna close up the whole side seam because when we put now the front and the back together here, we have the whole side seam. And continuing, we have the whole sleeve seam. Because we're going to fold this together. And then you have the side and the sleeve together. So we're going to sew that. Then we have the whole jumper together. Uh, and then it's just the finishing of the top. So this is a very quick uh, thing. Um, I noticed when I was cutting this that my fabric is very very thin. I had to cut the pieces just one layer at, the, uh, at each time because otherwise it would uh, go away and, and fall together and so. So this is very thin so I'm almost sure that I have to line it and uh, I'm gonna do that not now already because I'm not sure what kind of lining I need. If I need a really stronger one or if I can get away with a thinner one that is more uh, nicely I think for this very fragile fabric. Uh, but I, uh, I will see that later but I'm certain I have to do because this is really it's almost a silky like uh, knit. And it's very beautiful, but it's very difficult to work with. So I'm going to try to sew this with my serger, but I'm not sure if it can do. And I'm not going to sew my uh, seams with a, a stretch a stitch, but maybe you can if your fabric is a bit more uh, sturdy. Um, I think in my case it, it, I shouldn't do it because I, it has its, its strength. It needs its strength from the seams, I'm afraid. So I'm going to try it with my serger, and otherwise I take my normal sewing machine and do this with a normal straight stitch, not a zigzag stitch. So see how your fabric is. If you can do a, uh, a zigzag stitch, then you have or a stretch stitch, then you have more uh, stretch in your seams. But I don't want a stretch in my seams now because this fabric is too fragile for that. So we're going to sew and see how it goes.
So I have the whole jumper sewn together, sleeves are on, and I pinned um, the tape on top of it. And because this fabric is so very thin, it always stretches out a bit, so my uh, tape is uh, smaller than the top of the jumper now, but I want to keep the same width of the jumper as, as it is now. Um, but I have to uh, make it uh, matching to my tape because my tape has to be the 90 centimeters, otherwise it gets too wide and it goes off my shoulder. So what you can do now if you have too much um, fabric for your tape is you make a, a curve when you pin it on and then you turn it this way and I can show you. Then you make the smaller part of the two pieces, you have your fabric and your tape. The smaller part gets the inner curve and the wider part gets the outer curve. I don't know if you can see it like this. So the, uh, the band is smaller than the fabric, so we, I fold it like this and then I pin it. And I fold it and I pin it. So the fabric has the outer curve, so that's a larger curve. And then you can pin your uh, wider fabric on your smaller tape. And then when you sew it, you want your um, band on top and you make the curve like this when you sew it. So you put it like this in a curve under your sewing machine. And I tried it on and um, it wasn't that bad as I thought. It's very thin but it wasn't see-through so I leave it like this. I don't give it a lining because I like how it falls and then it's a, a jumper you can wear in the summer too. Then I went on to the ruffle on top and I have been thinking what kind of pleat it was and I didn't wasn't sure about it uh, how to make it but I made my uh, strip two times the width, so two times 90 centimeters, because I want the ruffle uh, be as much as the, as the width. So um, I made it 20 centimeters wide and I fold it double, so I have it now like this. I'm gonna sew this and I'm gonna sew this together with, again, a tape that is not stretchy, because I don't want this to be stretchy. So when I sew this together, doubled, I take this band uh, together. It doesn't matter what kind of tape as long as it's not stretchy, the same as the other one. And then the uh, kind of pleat that I figured out that I think it was is a box pleat uh, laid down. And that means we're gonna take them together. And I'll show you when I've sewn this down, but I'll show you already. You take your pleat at four centimeters together, so that's a pleat of two centimeters, and then we put it down so you make it flat. I closed the whole tube, then it's just one round circle and I pressed it down that it's nice and flat, especially the outer, outer side because we need that for the pleats. And now I'm gonna make the pleats. So what I do is I measure out, uh, the pleats have to be four centimeters in total, so it's two centimeters double. So I measure out two centimeters and they are four centimeters from apart, from each other apart. So if I have a pleat here, I measure four centimeters down. And then I make a pleat that is double two centimeters. So I fold it together and I measure when the fold is two centimeters and then I can pin there. So this is two centimeters and I put my pin exactly there where my spacing was, my four centimeter spacing. And now I have my next pleat two centimeters doubled. So 
now we're going to flatten down the pleats and make sure you um, make the stitching in the middle of the whole fabric because um, when we put it on the jumper we make the whole stitching all around for, to on the middle of the of the uh, part and when you make your secure stitching more here or more here then you will see that stitching um, outside and that is not nice so try to make it really in the middle of the jumper I think I will even take my measuring tape and measure it out that it's really the middle so that I can stitch over all these stitches when I put it on the jumper and that's more nicely so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna first pin all these things down I think and then uh, I can sew them So I stitched all the pleats down, so this is what it was, I made the box pleats and I pushed them down and I stitched straight over, this is the wrong side, this is the good side, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pin this on top of the top of the uh, jumper, so on top of where the band is. And I was searching where my ends were of the tube but I couldn't find it because I especially did it inside the pleat so I can't find it back so it doesn't matter but if you have a, a visible uh, line where you attach the tube then I should um, put that on the shoulder somewhere on the back so that's not in front uh, on the front of your uh, jumper that wouldn't be too nice so I'm gonna pin it down and I think Oh yeah, I have to um, stitch it from this side because this has to be a very nice neat line. So I must be very secure with how I pin it down on my band. Because I cannot see from this side where my band is. So I must pin it down very securely. And then what we do if you have pinned it all around is you just gonna uh, do a straight stitch uh, over where the stitching is for uh, putting down the pleats you go over that all the way around and then your whole tube is attached to your jumper and it looks really nice already so we're gonna do that and then the only thing we have to do is we have to hem uh, the sleeves and the bottom uh, I decided the bottom I do just normal uh, I think a two centimeters in and then another two centimeters in and then you have a nice um, seam uh, I wanted to make it bigger but it's not nice because this fabric is so thin then you really see the hem here so that's not nice so I make just a small two centimeter hem and for the sleeves I cut them very long so I decided to uh, give them uh, a tuck back so I fold them in very far I think I got two, 10 centimeters 9 centimeters to put in so I'm gonna hem them like this and then I'm gonna fold them back so I have a bit a sort of a cuff like this so if you have enough length for your sleeve you can do that too if you don't then just uh, have normal a centimeter in a centimeter in and stitch it down so that's what i'm gonna do but first we're gonna do the ruffle and then the hems and then i'll be back with the final result i think yes there we're ready
and this is the final result. I really like how it turned out. Um, I really like the waffle and it makes it fit, it feel uh, more comfortable because this um, fabric is very thin. I already said it a few times. It feels like silk and it's very lightweight. And I have another sweater. I'm missing my clothing rack here, so I had it hanging here. Um, I have such the uh, same material. It's very thin and it's a very nice color. It's, I don't know if you can see it, it's a very light pink. But I hardly ever wear it because it's so lightweight that it feels like as if you have nothing on and it feels really weird. So I tried some putting something under a blouse or something, but that doesn't look nice because it's so thin that you see every wrinkle, everything underneath it. So it doesn't make it better. But I, um, I really like this jumper, but I hardly ever wear it. And this material is almost the same as that. And because of the waffle, it gives you some weight. And I'm very happy that I didn't make this stretchy. I had thought about it, why I didn't want it. And it turned out really nice because it really sits on the shoulder now. I don't have to pull it up every time I pull it up. I have another sweater that has this too. And I'm certainly pushing this up because that's going down uh, wearing it. And because this is just straight, not stretchy, it always sits okay. And it's, it feels very nice. And uh, you can see the back in the mirror. I'm very happy with, uh, with the result and I'm sure I'm going to wear this a lot because it is very thin so I can wear it in summer even, just pull the sleeves up and there you're good to go. It's, it's even thinner than a, uh, a t-shirt so it's a very nice uh, jumper to wear all year round. So I'm happy with the result. I hope yours turned out well too. If you have any questions leave them down below and I'll get back to you. And uh, I'll see you again next Monday for a new tutorial. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next week. Bye.